Hello, welcome to the Driven to Compete channel. My name's Sean. If this is your first time visiting my channel, hey, I really would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can stay up to date on all the latest videos. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, I tend to do projects all the time, and a lot of it is step-by-step -step how to do it yourself from home. I'm also into um, racing. I've been into cars my whole life. Tonight's video is going to be on my first oil change on my Golf R. So if you haven't already uh, checked out some of my previous videos, um, I have a Golf R that I just purchased. I purchased it with 9,500 miles. And I'm up to 15,000 on it. So uh, we, I went online to ECS Tuning and I picked up one of their higher grade oil change kits. Comes with, uh, I, I went ahead and I got the Liquid Molly Molly Gen oil. Um, comes with a uh, filter, the uh, plug. And I also upgraded or decided to at least add to the kit the liquid molly proline engine flush now this car has low miles um see i bought the car back in uh august with 9500 here we are in december and i got 15,000 on it so i went ahead and i wanted to see you know these tsi motors are notorious for um you know uh carbon buildup I guess you could say. So I went ahead and I followed the directions on this. And I just was curious to see if the product worked and if it was going to get anything out of the motor. Even though it does have low miles. I went ahead and I put it in. I ran the car at idle for 10 minutes. And um, we're going to see what that does. So we're going to give that a try. We're going to see if this stuff is as good as they say it is. And um, what else? Oh, and we'll do a check to see if there's any oil in our cash can so with that said let's get to it okay so there are jacking points on these cars it's a reinforced area right here that you can see so you you know i want you to make sure that you understand you can't just jack anywhere on these cars yeah i, I wanted you guys to see that typically you know this is how the do-it-yourself is going to do it at home you can either do it with one jack with some jack stands or in my case I grabbed a four ton and a three ton jack and I went ahead and uh, I do want to warn you you know if you I, I'm very anal so I, I kind of put something there to protect it from hitting the mirror or rubbing the mirror but uh, there you have it the cars in the air and uh, typically yes hey I bought it <laughs> I have a lift typically you would use your lift to do something like this but uh, you know I learned a long time ago, good friends are hard to come by. So when your friends call you and they say they need your help, and uh, you know, not every project goes right. And in this case, it didn't go right. And uh, we got a bad transmission. So Jimmy's going to be, uh, we're, we're working on this project. And I promise you there'll be an uploaded video soon of the transmission removal and install on this vehicle. But for the time being, we need to drain the oil out of this old girl so let me grab some tools and a drain pan and we can take it to the next step so i've gone ahead and i threw a light down there to help us to be able to see what we're doing and there's a drain pan to, to so honestly if you're a do-it-yourself or you're doing this in your driveway your garage your carport all you really need like i said is a jack and a pair of jack stands or two jacks um a creeper and uh some light and like I said, an oil pan, drain pan, and uh, right here is what you need. You need a, uh, some paper towels, a rag, and this guy right here. And, uh, you know, I got to tell you, first time I ever serviced a, a V-Dub myself, I, I probably cursed them at their design of their plug. But, you know, this thing is designed to be serviced with, they make a special tool for it, but I'm telling you right now, you can make this uh, screwdriver work. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to see if liquid molly engine flush really does work. We're going to see what the color of the oil looks like and it comes out of this thing. But like I said, I'm going to use this to take the plug out. And uh, I'll show you the steps on that here in just a sec. Okay, so here we are. We're underneath the car. This is your oil pan. And yes, it's uh, a plastic oil pan. And there's your, your uh, um, plug. So we're going to go ahead 
and we're going to uh, it's hard to see it from this side so I'm gonna go ahead right there you go you really want to jam that in there hard because it, it has to be able to turn this so I generally will tap that in and then you just turn it and it releases the plug and I'm literally this is the easiest they've ever come out so let's just uh, see what happens here I'm gonna go ahead and take a second here to make sure the pans move let's go ahead and we'll, we'll release this here and I'll let you see what this oil looks like and I don't know if you can see it right here it's definitely dark and it was not like that before I put the cleaner in okay there it is that's pretty dark stuff that's nasty now let's go ahead and we'll let this drain really well and yes my hands a mess but that's why you bring towels with so uh, we're gonna go ahead and we'll let this drain and because we have the car jacked up the car is leaning uh, backwards which is perfect to help the oil vacate and one cool thing I noticed when I crawl underneath here is looky there somebody has put some mods on this car which is cool previous owner I kind of figured it had an intake on it and I'll tell you why because there's marks as you can see there's plenty of marks where that and that that was marked up pretty well not that I haven't put a mark or two in that from removing it myself, but I can tell that somebody has had the intake apart on this car at one point or another. So I kind of assumed that somebody had done a couple things to it. It's kind of cool to see that uh, mount underneath, you know, and of course somebody had put the, uh, had put that little lip spoiler on the back and um, the windows were tinted and then I went ahead and I put the mud flaps on it and, uh, of course it's got a full clear brawl wrap in the front it is dirty but uh you know that's what happens when you daily your car and you drive as many miles uh, as i do so with that said let's go ahead and show you the next step um, once this oil has drained i'm going to go ahead and i'll show you how to access and remove the filter which is really cool because it's literally just right there and uh, we'll go to the next step so while the car is draining, I thought I'd take a minute. Curiosity got my interest. I wanted to uh, go ahead and look at the uh, air box and see what the filter looked like. I was curious to see if it was a stock filter or somebody had modified the air box or anything like that. And then I also wanted to check the uh, oil catch can. In one of my previous videos, I mentioned I, I did the install and I, I had mentioned I wasn't real thrilled with some of the uh some of the issues with this install one thing that upsets me is you know the gentleman from uh, ecs had told me that this would uh clear so i wouldn't have to take it down it would clear and as you can see it won't clear it hits the uh brake booster so you have to actually take it off to check it and that's awesome i checked it zero uh zero uh, oil water anything like that Te theoretically i fear guys say there should be water they get water in there um, you should only be getting oil. If you're getting water, that moisture is coming from somewhere and it could potentially be a head gasket issue. But, um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'll, I'll, uh, screw that back together and, uh, put the, uh, uh, bolts back in that. And, um, I'll show you what I did here. I opened this up using a Torx head and, um, this is super clean. I have a feeling there was an intake on this person traded it in they took the intake off of it uh they left that suspension mod underneath in place and they went ahead and they traded it in and probably pulled off their 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 intake so i'm gonna go ahead and i'll i'll get this uh cover to fit back on correctly and i'll screw this back down but that filter looks perfect um here i'll show you something else too a lot of guys in the forums let me back this up here so you can zoom out a lot of guys in the forums talk about, and you have to bear with me while I try to pull this out. Of course, I pulled it out on the first try when I wasn't recording. There we go. So as you can see, the underneath of this is like new. But a lot of the guys talk about keeping the stock intake because it doesn't flow. Uh, it's not that restrictive. And they talk about breaking these out. And um, they also talk about opening these up here. 
Um, I have thought about it, but I, ultimately I believe more than anything else, just because I think it looks cooler, I'm going to put an intake on it at some point um, and tune it. But for right now, um, I think it's cool to be able to look at that and know that, uh, you know, that hasn't been modified in any way. So we're going back under the car. Oil's basically done draining. So here's a better shot of the drain. You know, you can put the screwdriver fits in there perfectly. Now you want to make sure you get one that's not super thick on the tip. But um, all you're going to do is reach around and it screws itself back into place. It's literally that. I'm not kidding. It's that easy. And uh, go around it until it, it, it will stop moving all together. And you can see it's seated. And uh, let me zoom in there for you. You can see it's seated here. It's uh, all fitting there nicely. And uh, then I recommend you do take your rag, clean this area up. You want to make sure that you check it, you know, make sure it's not leaking. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm wiping that up. And uh, that way we know if it's leaking and... Uh, you know, sometimes you can use these multiple times, and sometimes you have to throw them away after one use. I think that's going to be up to you and how bad you butch it up when you take it out. Okay, so here's the question. Does that Liquid Molly uh, engine cleaner really work? Well, I'll tell you right now, this oil is pretty filthy, and it reminds me very much of what comes out of my diesel truck. Typically, uh, the oil did not look like that on the dipstick, so... Um, I'm going to say that, yeah, hey, it did something. Um, how much deposits did it actually truly remove? Your guess is as good as mine. Um, I think for uh, sake of trying, every 15,000 miles, I'm going to try to run this through. So every other oil change, I'm going to probably run that. And see if uh, it gets me past 60,000 miles without having to uh, have the intake the valves and all that crap cleaned up that uh, these motors are notorious for so um with that said let's go ahead i'm going to pull the light out um put the plug back in the car and i'll go ahead and i'll show you how to do the oil uh filter then okay so to get this oil filter housing loose you have a couple options if you have the sockets large enough an inch and a quarter fits it perfect if you don't have, uh, most people may not have them that large. If you're not a, uh, uh, you know, a big time do-it-yourself mechanic, you can always use a pair of channel locks or a uh, fairly large, I think this is a 12 inch, yep, 12 inch adjustable wrench. Either one of those will work. For purposes, I'm going to use this one here. And you can see it comes off fairly easily. Uh, there should not be a lot of, should not be any oil really to spill out to make a mess. Um, again, if you are hesitant, have a rag next near or close by, but this is going to come off. And let me back up a second here. It's got quite a thread to it. Okay, there we go. We're going to go ahead and we're going to pull it off. And. There you have it. There's a piece in the center. There's the filter. And there's the housing. So I'm going to go ahead and separate these and show you what they look like. Okay, so here we have it. Um, I went ahead and I pulled the filter out. This is a guide for when you're putting it back down in the, in the motor there. And uh, you have, when you buy a filter with... Uh, Euro cars like this, they give you this gasket. So you take that screwdriver right there that you used and you use it to pry this, uh, start this off and you just work it off the up around and pull it off. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll pull this off, remove it. Uh, there's the old filter. We'll go ahead and put the new filter in it and the new um, seal, rubber, rubber seal. And we'll uh, look at putting it back together. Okay, so I went ahead and I put the new uh, gasket there with my thumb on it. There's the filter. And so what I'm just going to do is I'm going to set this right here for purposes. So I'm doing this one-handed. And I'm going to drop that in. Okay. Now, there's uh, a theory. If we were putting this filter like this 
inside the motor, I would fill this up with motor oil. Now, um, because this is going down, okay, this won't hold motor oil. But what I can do is I can put a little oil in here to get the filter itself um, soaked so that uh, there's less delay in uh, getting oil through the filter and back through the motor circulating properly. So I know this may not be necessary, but for peace of my mind, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in here and then I'm gonna turn it upside down once it's soaked into the filter and I'm gonna go ahead and, and reinsert this and tighten this down. Okay, so I went ahead and I put a little bit of oil in there just to uh, get the uh, filter media uh, saturated and um, you know, I gotta tell you, this is the first time I've used Desilico Molly, but it comes out, it's almost got a green color to it. It's uh, supposed to be good stuff. And we're gonna go ahead and we're going to position it. You turn it and it falls down into place. And you're just gonna screw it down. And um, I know that there's probably some manual out there of how many uh, inch pounds you're supposed to tighten this to. But uh, I'm a kind of an old school kind of guy. I'm going to tighten it um, hand tight. It wasn't very tight to begin with to get it off, so I'm going to go as hand tight as I can make it, and uh, I think we'll be good there, but I'm going to put the, the wrench on it. I just want to make sure, because I, I do remember how much tension there was on it. I'm glad I did that. I, I think I could go down a little further. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we're snug. I'm glad that I checked it, but um, there you have it. Uh, you know, like I said, this is something that anybody can do. Why pay the dealer, um, you know, 85 bucks or whatever the heck it is that they charge when you can use the same quality of, of oil filter that they're most likely using. Um, so there we have it. Now we have to put oil in it. So then, and that's where it goes back there. Now I have a special funnel that, uh, because you can't see this. But there is a, it's not as uh, fully open. Where my finger's at, the only spot on this hole right here that's actually open. It looks like it's larger than it is. So I have a funnel that I can jam in there. I could pour the oil in and, it, and it, let, it feeds itself down through the system. So I'll go ahead and I'll get started on setting that up. Okay, so we're ready to install the oil. I went ahead and I put a light over here because I wanted to help you to be able to see what I'm talking about. So there I have a funnel shoved in there, but you can see how the rest of the pack, uh, how, how the rest of it's blocked, right? So I, I have the, I have a funnel that I can make fit in there, and then I can go ahead and I can put like a quart or, or so at a time in there, and it, and, and it fills itself up. Um, what else? Oh, so if you're at home, you could take your car and put it down at this point. I have not done so. Um, because I do plan to rotate my tires. I'm, I have made the decision I'm going to run 7,500 mile services because most of my mileage is all highway. So I want to go ahead and I want to rotate my tires and adjust my tire pressures. And I can't, I can't express that enough. Um, let me turn this around for you. Okay, so I went ahead and I stopped with just a little bit left in the container. Um, you want to be careful when you're filling this up. You want to keep an eye on how far it is from the top. Um, and then you want to let this, there's still oil. Um, you know, yes, it's a lighter weight oil, 5W40. Um, by the way, this is what they recommended to me when I called uh, ECS tuning. So that's why I went with this weight. I, I don't want to get into some discussion in the comment section on why I'm using the wrong oil. Um, it's personal preference. It, it meets the requirements for Volkswagen. And uh, was what was recommended. And that's what I went with. So, with that said, um, you know, there's oil in this. Uh, it takes a little bit of time. You can see it's still dripping. I try to let it uh, clear out as much as I can. And then what I'll do is I'll put the cap back on right here and, and such. But I also, while I'm waiting, right, check your fluid levels. That looks like that's correct. It says that that's the minimum level for your coolant. Um, it's a good time to look at your windshield washer fluid. I'm going to need to put some windshield washer fluid in this. Um, you know, I typically will look at my brakes back here. Now, I did check those when I worked when I was back there the last time. I did check those before I put the um, oil catch can back up. So there you have it. Um, you can put your cover back on too if you want. 
Um, I took it off because I want I needed to be able to get to this um, easier, but you can put your cover back on. And there's things that you could do while you're waiting, so you're not like st standing here uh, kind of waiting for uh, the funnel. And then at some point, you just pull it and you put your rag underneath of it and pull it out and set it aside. So I'm going to go ahead and finish cleaning up here. And then what we can do is we can run the car and verify that the oil is at the right uh, level. Now we're going to check the oil and um, we're going to look and see where we're at there. Okay, so I've gone ahead, I wiped it clean and I've redipped it. I'm trying to zoom in here for you, but uh, you want it to cover to my finger here and it is doing that. So we are full. So if you're doing this at home, you want to leave yourself a little bit of oil. Now what I will do later is I will take that oil and put it into that container because that's a lot smaller and I can put that on the shelf and it will take up less room. But for the time being, at least we know the car has a uh, full full of oil. Let me, let me back this up. Um, I wanted to see, yeah, look how clean that is in comparison. Um, so, you know, I really think that if, you, if I was asked um, I would say that that uh, uh, liquid moly uh, engine treatment does work. Um, I also want to point out that we topped off our fluids. We went ahead and, we, you know, you, you want to check all that while you have the car here. And um, overall, first service was a success. So if you haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button. I welcome your comments um and as always i appreciate you watching driven to compete watch like subscribe have a great day